Hi guys, I just want to do a real quick video. Um, I got this image a long time ago and I've got it from a couple people. So I know Scratch just sent me a bunch and another person also sent me some and I've never used them guys because and I live in Japan. I don't know that's why but I, I really like this stamp and I've been waiting for the time to use it and I super love it. So I'm going to show you how um, you can use washi paper and piece even though you don't have the stamp. So I've colored her, colored her face, I used E0000 and E000 and R93 on her cheeks a little bit. And I could have used E002 as an over one there and I put um, RV10 pink and then um, I used the pale fruit again to blend in. It kind of looks like cherry blossom in the middle is pale yellow Y11 and and her hair is done in C10, C8 and C6 and I think I did a pretty good job but anyways this is what you do. You take your tracing paper and uh, I've got some here so I'll just show you. I took some tracing paper and I put it over top of her and I'll show you this one. I put it over top and I basically I traced the part I wanted to do. I, I traced the cuffs here but I decided I didn't want to use them but if you wanted the whole thing all you do is go like this and then you would trace the image and then you could cut it out and then using your multi-liner this one again is 0 0.05 and then you trace it onto your washi paper and today's washi paper is this piece here really nice and I love it. it's got blue flowers pink flowers and these yellowy flowers and it's so pretty so I did that and I traced it the pieces and then I used um, this piece here and um, you can see her OB looks like this and that's also true you layer a lot so there's like a white piece and then a, a piece um, there's a lot of different designs and then what I did though is I took it and I used this piece and I put um, down the middle because you actually tie down the middle you tie um, a knot and then make that so that's what I did and I'm gonna take mine and I got this I showed you how to do the iron last time so I'm just gonna rub it right now while I'm talking to you guys I think this is real fun I'm really enjoying you and I wanted to mention that so many people are doing Geisha Anya and that's really cool <laughs> It. But um, I'm really happy that um, other people are doing other things too. So I like all of them. I'm very, very happy that you guys are entering my giveaway and playing along to the challenge. I hope you all, you know, had a lot of fun making it. So I'm going to start with the big piece first. And um, basically the bottom part is the only thing that's lined. So I want to make sure that I get this directly and let's see if I line it. doesn't really have to be perfect because um, see that doesn't really perfect but you're not gonna see that so all you have to do is make sure it's lined up. I have a piece of white right here and I'm gonna cut that because it's bothering me and I meant to go back and cut that but I didn't. I was using a different pair of scissors and they didn't cut it so that's what happened and I changed. Okay and then I'm gonna take her OB which looks like this. See how there's like the line down the middle? And I thought that was kind of fun. And I don't know. Well, if you can see that it looks like this, so I'm going to guesstimate. It's about here. And they do put their OBs kind of high. I know, because they wanted to smush my boobs in one time. <laughs> it's better if you guys okay here's a point to know it's better if you don't have boobs <laughs> because then you can you can fit nicely into the kimono otherwise they're gonna smush them in and they're gonna say oh your chest is so big so less is better <laughs> sorry guys that's funny okay so I guesstimated there and I'm gonna put that one more here is the last one. And I don't know if I'm going to leave um, her hair like that. I might add some glitter. 
made out of flour. I liked how a lot of people did theirs, so I'm still thinking. And I was going to put this, I'm thinking about putting it on a picture frame for my mom and I when we wore um, summer kimonos, which are called yukata here in Japan. Oh, this is not working right. Let me just take this off. And I'm going to, I'm going to start from the top. That'll make it easier. There. And now I have just piece my geisha Anya. And she looks gorgeous in her kimono and her washi. Isn't that? And that looks so awesome. So if you guys, like if you had your stamp, you could just stamp it right on the washi. The only thing um, I'd have to give you a point is that if you stamp it, it won't stamp well on the shimmer part. And that's okay if you don't mind it. Otherwise you take your liner and you just go over the shimmer part with your Copic multi-liner and then it'll cover up the that shimmery part and make it look more like a solid line. So that's my point for you. Or you can do the tracing thing and just trace around where you've your cut tracing paper. And see I was gonna do it right here and then I forgot that I'd stamped this the other day or yesterday. So I went over here and I I did my image there. So there she is. Bye. Sayonara.